<laughs> yeah, okay. Look, let's skip through it. Everyone's yeah. asked you about Ortiz and stuff. Is it retaliation or is it marination? Like, no, it's just embarrassment because mm -hmm. Joshua put it on him yesterday at ESPN and said, after my fight, we'll sit down, you and me, man to man, and get this fight made. Right? Yep. And then he came straight out two hours later and went, oh, I'm fighting Ortiz. Why would, how can you not even wait for Saturday? What if, what if Joshua and Ruiz is this all-time war and Joshua comes out and wins and then Wilder Joshua is like the biggest thing in the world? You know what I mean? But he didn't want to wait because that, 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 you know, he's, I'm not saying that he's scared. I'm saying his team are advising him to take an ulterior route. He's got to have the balls to stand up and say, guys, well, thanks for the advice. I want to make my money now and I want to give the fans the fight they want. So you can see from the responses from his posts. Are, like, you, are, are you guys going to reach out? Or when was the last no time you... No point reaching out. He's got a fight planned. He well, just announced his fight. Well, when was the last time you guys talked Seven to Seven emails that they never replied to, saying, can we meet? Hello, have you got this? It's emails to his secretary. I'm trying to speak to Shelley. He won't get in touch with me. He will not talk to me. He will not sit down because they do not want the fight. When was the last time, though? Was it a I month called ago? him a couple of days after the Fury fight. And, and try that, and make the fight. That was it? That was it. And then some emails. And then asked if I meet. And nothing. Really? Yeah. So they're playing games, and everyone's seen it now. That's the only thing I'm pleased about. Is finally people are going, "Fuck, it's wilder that don't want the fight." Just my last question before I let you go: If that fight goes out to September, mm -hmm. like that's where it's in. You know, Joshua has so many belts. If he would win, granted, if he would lose, it'd be probably Ruiz mm -hmm. rematch. But the mandatories, right? Mm -hmm. Eventually, those start kicking in. Yeah, Usyk, Pulev. These are the things he's got to deal with. What is the next mandatory in line? Could that... be Usyk. Could be Pulev. So, okay. I mean, they're both going to have to get dealt with at some point. Okay, well, I right. appreciate your time, Eddie. Cheers, mate. Thank if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Tidal, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.